Welcome to Visual News, your own news source for all things we want you to know. Please know that Visual News may not be held responsible for lost or damaged faith in humanity. Today's weather is most cloudy with a 20% chance of precipitation and 8 miles per hour winds. It is current 68 degrees but feels like 53. Tonight should be most clear with a low of 51. Friday was set to become the United Kingdom's first working day without coal power generation since the Industrial Revolution. Recent months have seen some notable green energy advances around the world. A recent study found that in the past 40 years, there has been an increase in the number of obese people worldwide, rising from 105 million in 1975 to 641 million in 2014. However, authors warn that global trends in rising obese people should not overshadow the continuing underweight problem in poor nations. In London Prime Minister, Theresa May, has called for an Earl General election. She announced that an election will take place on June 8, which is in just six weeks. She says it is in the national interest to do so. China is planning a national park three times larger than Yellowstone in the U.S. to help boost the wild population of giant pand. It will link 67 existing reserves to make mating easier. The South African rand has just been cut to junk status by the ratings agency, S&P President, Jacob Zoom, fired Finance Minister, Pravin Gordon. Zoom said his decision was guided by a desire to increase the number of women and young people in his cabinet. Major marches and rallies have been put together to make the president stand down. But so far, they have been unsuccessful. According to a recent study by Penn State representatives on concentrated poverty, neighborhoods where 40% of the population or more lives below the federal poverty level is back on the rise for all ethnic groups in the United States. The death toll from a bomb attack targeting evacuees leaving besieged Syrian towns has risen to 126, according to a monitoring group. At least 109 of those killed were evacuees from the pro-regime Shi villages of Alpha and Kafre while the rest were aid workers and rebels guarding the convoy. At least 68 children were among those killed in the attack on Saturday. This has been your daily report for all things we want you to know. Thank you for tuning in with us. Until next time, this has been Visual News.